Hello everyone. As you can see, it's still raining. So I've made a decision. I'm going undercover. Because the rain filming this is uh, a little bit more difficult than usual. But you have to adapt, improvise and overcome. This is my uh, video setup. I'm trying to capture this while it's pouring rain. Okay, so the plan is to use this quick stage scaffolding to create a tower in front of the boat and then use other scaffolding poles around back to make the structure for this sort of temporary shelter for the boat. I'm just going to use stuff that I have rather than going buying stuff because that would be kind of a waste of money. So I'm going to try and use what I have and make something usable out of it. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to revise the plan because I only have two of those eight foot cross pieces. But I have quite a few of these four foot ones, so I'm going to go with them, make a more smaller, more compact tower at the front to build it up. Hopefully, that will work. Right, I came out here to start filming this and it's raining again so I'm not going to get to film much. Uh, but I've done so, I've sort of rethought this out, I've made up a framework here and uh, fixed it in place and I found some PVC profile that I'm using to make up hoops to mount on those to make a sort of a canopy, something similar to my polytunnel idea. and. Uh, I'm going to strengthen that up using uh, two by one timber that's sort of like inter braces in between it. So I'm just going to carry on doing this but I'm not going to be filming anything because it's just too wet. Now it's started snowing. Hmm. Okay so a bit more progress on this uh, framework I'm putting up. Uh, just battling against the weather. So I have these sections together. I have to join it all together and, well, two of them are self-supporting at the minute, but the front section here I just made is freestanding. I'm going to have to uh, connect that up to the other two. And then, uh, so I tie it all together with a bit better. Around the back here, I have to bring this out over the end. So I'm going to close. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this.
Okay, so I'm getting hard to get time at this uh, because there's short days and then there's days when it's pouring rain and one thing and another I'm just getting a couple of hours now and again I know what I've done today is I've uh, joined up these frames and put a few cross braces in them and made this sort of bar, this rail around at this height here just above the height of the hull and what I'm hoping to do is be able to sheet that down with plastic right over the top and down the other side of the rail on the far side and that way it'll leave the hull exposed here so when there is a dry day or something I can get out and work away at the hull and sand it and prep that for you know getting ready for all the painting and the anti is going to have to be done in the spring of next year so I don't want to enclose it right down to the, the ground and then not be able to get near the hull to do any work on it so I'm trying to trying to do two things with this shelter so then if we sheet it down with plastic down to this level here hopefully that'll cover the top of it so I can walk away in, in the top of it I'll be able to access it in through here through this area here and use the ladder to get up onto the deck from there and it being closed down to this sort of level so that's the plan so far uh, it's a bit sturdier than it was I've strengthened it up a bit with these cross braces there's still a bit of flex in the top of it but with my poly tunnel, when I pulled the plastic down over, that tightened it up a lot. Now I'm gonna, I've still some timber left here. I actually had to go out and buy some timber to do this. You can probably see the new timber compared to the old timber that I did have. Unfortunately, that's just it. I just didn't have enough. So this is a bit of an expense I really could have done without. But if I'm gonna cover it over, I'm gonna have to do that. So that's just the way it is. So that's as far as I've got. Uh, maybe get a couple of hours out of tomorrow. With a bit of luck if the weather holds out it's been very cold here now minus two and three celsius overnight so uh it's uh getting like winter but as i say today it wasn't raining which is why i got out and got to do this so hopefully it'll be dry again tomorrow and i can do a bit more on it so that's it as it sounds now have that rail around that height all around both sides Yes, yeah, so as a YouTube viewer, I get to see uh, a lot of different places around the world and probably places that I'll never actually visit in person. I find that pretty interesting and sort of like a first person view of these places. So I thought you might get a kick out of seeing something similar. Today I'm in uh, Enniskillen in County Fermanagh, which is across the border from where I live in Ireland, in the Republic of Ireland. I'm actually in Northern Ireland today. So this is the Shannon Erne Waterway. And this is one of the possible routes that I could travel on the boat once I get it finished. So I thought I'd give you a look at it and a look at Enniskillen itself.
right in the middle of Enniskillen, just off of the, the river. I wonder if it could have possibly tiny boat up there overnight. Theory, I should actually be able to come up here with the boat the whole way to Enniskillen in County Fermanagh in Northern Ireland. This is the actual navigation channel on the River Erne. You can see by the markers there. And uh, there's cruise boats uh, travel up and down the, the River Erne onto the Shannon Waterway as well. The whole way down south of Ireland, right to Limerick and out to the sea. Okay, so this is uh, Lockside Marina, just outside of Enniskillen. There's some old boats here. That's the navigation channel there, heading into Enniskillen. Here's an old, it looks like an old Dutch sailing barge with um, dagger boards are turned down on the sides and a, a mast with a tabernacle. Doesn't look like it's gone anywhere in a long time. Okay so this is on the Republic of Ireland side of the Shannon Urn Waterway. This is a place called Bell Turbot in North County Cavan. And there's a bit of a marina here. They have uh, tour boats here, and a lot of people have boats tied up here. But there definitely seems to be some liverboard type cruiser boats here. There's a big old barge there. And they have fireplaces on them. There's one over there, a smaller one, but nice sized boat. The fire is going in there. Obviously, somebody living on that. I think this boat's canopy might have got shredded by uh, Hurricane Ophelia, and nobody's checked on it in a while. Looks like nobody's checked on it a while before that too. I got a bit more time with this today and uh, did some more strengthening up. I uh, put some braces in and uh, put a couple more uh, pieces of PVC in to make a couple more intermediate hoops there. You can see them there. And I came up with a, a way of doing the back of it as well. I'm just going to drop it down like this at the back. and uh, sheet that down with plastic. Okay, so in this video, you got to see me going to Enniskillen. I hope you enjoyed that. Please let me know if you did. And I've got on pretty well with the structure for this cover. Um, I haven't got a cover on it yet. I've just got the frame finished and I'll have to leave it to the next episode to actually cover it. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, subscribe and I'll see you next time.